Hello everybody, so Mark here, and today we're going to talk about, talk about Facebook ads myth, uh, nine myths to be exact, and I want, I'm going to explain you exactly why they are myth, so I'm going to use data, I'm going to use my own results, and uh, yeah, so we're going to bust those myths once, once and for all, and, um, and you'll be able to save money, and run more efficient campaigns, and get much better results, once you know those myths, all right, because I see them in a group, I see them in other group all the time, and they slow people down, they used to slow me down, so today we're going to just cover them, and I'm going to show you exactly why they are myths. So I'm gonna, today I'm going to show nine myths, okay, I'm going to explain, explain why they are myths, and there are actually a lot more, but those are the principles that I want to explain, and if you know those, it's going to change your life uh, in e-commerce. Okay, so myth number one is seasoning your pixel. So what does that mean? For some pe for people that don't know, uh, it means gathering data. So like buying data, so using view content, using add to cart, using uh, traffic, PPE, and people think that seasoning your pixel and getting a lot of data in your pixel is going to make you successful. And if you don't, you're not going to make money. This is a myth. This is a lie. Okay, this you can see my results here. So you can see six, almost 7,000 purchases. You can see, uh, and this was done with a fresh pixel, no data from scratch, and I use purchase conversion, okay? So always use purchase conversion. Buying data is not true. The more purchases you have, the easier it's gonna be, yes, to, to, to actually, you know, make something work, but it doesn't mean you can make, you can make anything work, no. So the thing is, if it's a winner, it's gonna work whatever you do. So it's better to use conversion purchase. You're going to actually save more money and go straight, you know, like waste, waste less time as well, because you're going to know right away, okay, it's working. Oh, okay. It's not working. I can move on to another product and then, you know, okay. So it's very important for you to understand. This is a myth. You don't need to buy data. You don't need to season and, you know, get your pixel ready or what and whatnot. This is stupid. This is not true. Okay. And that's the truth. That's my result, okay? And I've done it with different pixels because I'm using a lot of pixels on my store. I explain it in my life. I'm gonna make a video about it. You don't need to do it, just explain it. It's just more advanced when you have like a lot of different niche, but in the beginning, don't just use one pixel. But what I mean is I've done it many times and it works amazing. Just use conversion, conversion purchase, that's it, okay? So no need to, even if you have a brand new pixel, no need to buy data, no need to just think that you're just going to spend, you know, money and it's going to make your pixel work. No, this is stupid. Okay. So that's myth number one. Myth number two. So it's related to the first myth. It's use PP campaign for social proof. Otherwise, customer will not click and buy. Again, complete lie. It's not a lie because a lot of people say, say that and they actually, you know, believe it. So it's more, it's a myth. Uh, it's just that it's not, it's not true. Social proof is great in form of reviews on your website. People saying that they bought your product, they love your product. This is great. This is great social proof, okay? But random people commenting on your ads, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to change anything. People don't care. It's not going to make people buy because there is a random person that say, oh, I love it. Or, oh, like it tags, you know, it, it just tagged his friend or whatever. It's not going to change anything. So, Again, why I know it? Again, I show you my screenshot. That's what I do. I use conversion purchase. I don't use PPE and I get those results. And I can also tell you that every time I launch a product, every time I have zero likes, zero comments in the beginning and I make sales. People don't care. Okay. People care about the description. They care about the, the, the reviews. If you have reviews, but that's it. You have to understand it's product to customer match. There is no like, you know, like magic here. It's just about the right product in front of the right audience. That's it. So you don't, no need to use all those crazy strategies, all PP and then traffic and you're just going to waste money. Okay. So again, that's my results. And I've always used conver uh, conversion uh, purchase from the, from the, from the start, from scratch. And with a brand new pixel and everything, I never use PP because guess what? Even if you use conversion purchase, people are going to comment. It's not because you use conversion com uh, purchase that you're not going to get comments, people are going to comment anyway, but you're going to let, you're going to get less comments, but better quality comments because people that comment, you know, from conversion purchase, they, most of the time they're like, it's like, 
it's going to be better quality cameras. You do PP, it's going to be a lot of, you know, from different countries, it's going to look a bit weird. So I don't recommend it at all and you don't need it. If you don't trust me, test both, okay? Do a conversion purchase campaign, do a PPE campaign and then move to a, because of course you're going to move to a conversion purchase anyway. So do both and you see if you get better, better results because you have more social proof. It's not going to change anything. You're going to, you're going to get social proof with conversion purchase anyway, okay? So again, myth number two. Now we're going to talk about myth number three. So this is... Uh, using five dollars and three dollars for testing at set does not work. Okay, so again, complete myth. Why? You can see my results here. So you can see two two purchases here, five purchases there, three, five, three, eleven. You can see three twenty six. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is the budget: three dollars, three dollars, three sixty, three sixty. Why three sixty? Because I scale twenty percent by twenty percent, and then I go down if you know if some if I don't have great results. So. Uh, those are new, they were new at sets when I launched them. And you can see, like, they just, uh, uh, sorry, small budget, and it works great. So, again, Facebook is not a magical tool, it's just a tool, okay? And you show you add to a specific audience. So, what matters is your product, your website, obviously, because it, it's, the, it's the center of it all, and uh, the audience. It's the product to audience match. That's it. Okay, so whatever you spend, if you do $5, $6, $10, $100 a day, there is no magical strategy. Okay, you're just going to spend more money and that's it. So if it's a winner and you spend $100 and you test it and you spend $100 per day, it's going to work. If you test, if you try $5 a day, it's going to work. But if you do, if you work, if you, sorry, launch a product that does not interest anybody, you're going to use like a $5 budget or $6 or $100, it's not going to work. Okay, not because of the budget, just because of the product is not a winner. It's not. It does not interest interest anybody. That's it. No, like no hack here, no secrets, no anything. Please realize. I see a lot too much people saying, "Oh, I'm going to try twenty dollar budget. I'm going to try thirty dollar budget." Don't try to force it. It's not going to happen. Okay. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's it. It doesn't. It's not about the budget or anything. So again, it works great. Five three dollars is great because you can start small and test a lot and you can actually see what's working and you save a lot of money because if you do 20 50 dollars ad set it's good if you really know what you're doing if you're an expert if you run a lot of ads and you made a lot of money it can work and i i can do it but i don't do it because i think i save my, i know i save more money by doing this so again uh that's myth number three now we're going to talk about myth number four so myth number four is again i use the same screenshot Duplicating ads, duplicating ad sets does not work or will cause audience overlap. So again, we, not true at all. You can see here those are, are just duplicates. Those seven ad sets are duplicates. Okay, and why does it work? Okay, I'm going to explain you right now. I'm going to go back to the first picture and maybe I think it's going to change your your vision and change everything for you. So you can see here the the the, the reach is. 3 million, almost 3 million, okay? And here the impression is, impression is 7 million. I've run at least 500 ad sets, okay, for, for this campaign. And I'm still running it, still an active campaign. Uh, and I'm still making money from it, profit, profit from it. And you can see just 7 million and 2 million reach, okay? And I have 500 ad sets. And do, well, like just one ad, like most of my ads are like 5, 6, 10 million, 15 million, I've had set of 25 million, because when you scale, you can actually get, you can actually um, test with big, big, big ad set. And you see, it's where it's, it's like, I've reached only 3 million people. Why? Because Facebook doesn't show you ad to everybody. So when you actually, when you actually uh, duplicate ads, you're going to show to different pocket of that audience. And it's going to be very pow powerful because again, you're dealing with human beings. Facebook is just a tool. So it's going to show to different people. People have feelings. Maybe they're not going to buy today because they're not in the mood. Maybe, you know, they're busy. Maybe they're in the car driving and they can't. There's a lot of different things. So you're going to show to different pockets of that audience. People that love dogs, for example, but let's say they're going to show to a thousand people in, within an audience that love dogs, but they're not going to be interested, not really interested because, again, they are people. But they're going to show it to another thousand people. And, again, it's different. It's a really small uh, portion, right? Thousand, thousand, over a million. So... It's like 
it can make a huge difference, a huge difference, like to no sales, to six sales and, and even more. So that's why it's amazing. It's a great strategy. And a lot of people tell me, oh no, you're dividing your, your efforts. This is not true. Okay. I've tried everything. I've tried just one ad set. And again, it died. And after it dies after a short time, then what do you do? It's just this allow more consistency and a stronger campaign and more effective campaign. Okay. It will not cause audience overlap, audience overlap, meaning your ads going to compete against each other, uh, each other. Yeah, it's not going to happen because again, the audience is huge. So it's the chance of it happening is just so slim that don't worry about it. Okay. If you have an audience of 2000 people, yes, I would worry about it, but for an audience of millions of people, don't worry, it's not going to happen. All right. So now we're going to talk about myth number five, myth number five. Pictures as uh, picture has not work anymore. I see too many people telling me, oh, but video is the way to go. Oh, carousel is the way to go. Dude, business is not a trend. Okay. It's strategies. Video is great. Pictures are great. Everything's great. Depends for what, when, how you do it. And that's it. Don't follow, you know, bl blindly follow what people say because they say, oh, video is great. You don't, why, why is it better? It's better in some instance, like in some cases, when you do, you sell neat products, you have to explain what it is. It's great. But if it's a simple product, a picture does a great job. Look at this. This is a store uh, called Sugar and Cotton. You can see here, and then if I can zoom, uh, it does 200, 200, like 207K, um, 207K, uh, ah, sorry, likes, okay, on one picture. It's a basic picture with a girl and a, and a blanket. That's it. Okay, and it works amazing, amazing. So it just shows you that pictures work, everything works. Again, it depends on the product, it depends on niche, it depends how you do things. Okay, some people say uh, that video um, are cheaper, like you know CPM and everything. It, it's true, it's usually cheaper. But again, if you have a great picture and your video doesn't work, then who cares if it's cheaper? The goal is to actually get sales to be. Um, to be like to be ROI positive, okay? Not uh, who cares about if it's cheaper if you don't get sales, right? So that's that's my point here. And again, a proof. I want to prove everything I'm saying, okay? Stuff that I can prove. I'm telling you right now. So again, pictures are great. Uh, depends for one product. They are actually easier to use for neat products. Good to have a video, but again, a video is hard because a video you have a lot of variables. You have like the first three seconds, then you have the entire video. Is, is it going to hook the people, the people right away? Or is it going to, uh, you know, make them, yeah, interest in your video right away? Maybe not. A picture is straightforward. You see the picture, oh, boom, a woman with a blanket. Oh, I'm interested. Boom, I click on the, on, on the link. But the video is more, it's actually requires more work. So videos are great. Pictures are great. Everything's great. Just understand what you're doing. When people say something, don't just follow it blindly, understand why they're doing it. Or if they don't explain, because a lot of people say stuff, but they don't understand why they do it. Just see what they're doing, which kind of product they're using, try to understand which kind of niche, you know, they're, they're, they're working in. And then you can like understand why they're doing what they're doing and try to mimic what they're doing or not, but don't follow blindly because otherwise it's just gonna yeah, end up like a, like a sheep. And like most people, they don't know what they don't know what they are doing. Okay. So. Du, du, du. Myth number six. Yep, yeah, this was myth number four. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so myth number six is, is scale as soon as you get one sale. So again, that's a myth. You can't, I'm going to explain it like this. Facebook is like a human being. You can't force somebody to do something. Okay, you can't force it. Even if it's your best friend, whatever, you can't force them to do something because people are people. They're going to do whatever they want to do. Okay, so and Facebook actually knows what it's doing. The algorithm is pretty smart. So when you get one sale, it's too soon to scale because you don't know if it's going to work, if it's a fluke sale or sometimes it's just, you know, like people are interested, but not that interested. So you get a few sales, but then the ad set died. That's what, that's what usually happen for a lot of people. So when this happened, you have to actually give Facebook some time and, and see if at least you have a few sales per ad set and you're profitable. If you're profitable yet, yeah, try to scale. But wait a few days to see if you're profitable for a few days. You're just profitable for one day. No, it's not going to work. You can't force things. People try to scale all the time. You can't learn how to run before you learn how to walk. It's the same thing. Okay. Just 
get like some stability, some strong running, like good running ad sets. And then once they're running well and then you have like nice results and they're profitable and you make a nice, like, you know, some nice profit out of it, then you scale. Don't be in a hurry. Facebook knows when they, they're going to show you. Okay. And you're going to know when your product is a winner. Trust me, you're going to know. You're going to get two, three sales, you know, a day or like pretty consistent and you're going to be profitable right off the bat and you're going to know, okay, that's a winner and you know it. Okay. So I can tell you there is no, yeah, don't think that because you're going to increase the budget, it's going to change everything. No, it won't. It won't. If there is people like that are ready to buy, Facebook going to find them, whatever you do, you know, even in the beginning, if you're not spending a lot of money or whatever, um, people are going to, people are going to, um, yeah, to 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 um, to buy anyway. So don't worry, and uh, and just give Facebook some time, please. Give Facebook some time. Take your time and don't force it, or just you're gonna just waste and uh, waste your money. Okay. So now let's see. Myth number seven. So look like audience is the most audience is the most effective way to get sales. If you don't get any sales with interest targeting, try look like audience again. Another myth, and this one I see it all the time. And I'm just amazed. It makes me, it just, I don't get it. Lookalike audience is great, but it's a tool, okay? It's not a superhero. It's not a magical, again, Facebook, it's not magic. It's just one way to make sales, okay? Just to mimic the data that you have and find lookalike people that look alike, to those who, you know, who purchased on, who view content or whatever. And you get those people to buy on the store. Lookalike audience work great if you already have a lot of data from interest targeting. Okay, you saw my this um, audience that is working right now. It's it's actually currently working and still making me a lot of sales. And I'm actually I'm actually not using any lookalike for now. I've used them in the past for this for this audience, but then they died it was for for this product, but they died. Okay, so now I'm just using interest in targeting. They're not magical. And I've started, I started using them after at least I got like 1,000 sales. And then I started uh, add to cart or view content, I think, view content first, and then add to cart and then purchases. And it worked, you know, worked good, but it wasn't better than my interest targeting. It wasn't. So that's what you have to understand. Interest targeting is great, okay? It's just because you don't know how to use it or you, you're like too late. A lot of people are too lazy to actually look for the right interest and try different things and be smart about it. And they're like, oh, look alike, look alike, look alike. No, look alike, yeah, you might get a few more fluke sales. So you're going to get like one, two, three sales, but you're not going to be profitable. It's just because Facebook uh, is gonna sh knows better, better than you, you know, how to, to reach people. But it's not tricky. You just have to learn how to, to, to uh, target people with uh, interest targeting. And again, I'm going to make a video on it, but again, nothing magical, nothing, nothing secret. It's just about a lot of research. And being smart, knowing the niche, knowing what people want, what people like, and it will be good. Okay. So if sorry, if interest targeting does not work, lookalike are not going to work. It's not a savior. Okay. That's the truth. People say all the time. I see people. Oh, I'm trying this. I'm trying that. Don't try anything if it doesn't work with interest. It doesn't. It's not going to work with lookalike audience. There's just like one chance in hell that it's going to work. I mean, you don't want to hope. It's not a strategy. Okay, so please, lookalike audience is not magical. I will not say it enough. It's just a basic tool that is that is great if you use it the right way. Meaning, you need a lot of data for Facebook to actually allow you to create lookalike audiences and create lookalike, you know, pe people that are maybe ready to buy. You need a lot of data, and Facebook can piece like put everything together and say, okay, we have like ten thousand people that, you know, ten thousand view. Um, sorry. Thousand of add to cart, thousand of purchases. Okay, we know like our target now. Then it's going to work well, but not not necessarily better than interest targeting. It's just going to work. Okay, so it's it's good to add it. But again, it's not going to replace anything. Don't don't just use just look alike. Just learn how to do interest targeting, and that's it. I'm going to make a video on it, so I'm going to explain you exactly our research and everything. All right. So now, myth number eight. Myth number eight is test everything, uh, creative copy CTA button right away. Again, it's not really a myth, but I see all the time and I want to make, I want to, you know, to be clear about it. Testing everything is great. Okay. Don't get me wrong. You should do it, but not right off the bat. It's like looking like audiences. You don't want to, you don't want to 
run before you walk okay start start small what you want to test is audiences that's the most important if you have just if you see if you have an ugly picture uh, or you know really bad video then it's not it's the concept does not apply here but just know what you're doing like select a nice video or a nice picture that is clean with a nice copy uh, co um, sorry a nice copy and uh, like I explained earlier how to make copy you can just go read reviews see what people say about the product what they expect their pain their you know what what why they, they like the product and you can read a lot of reviews on Amazon Etsy Google whatever and then you write a nice uh, copy about it like a nice sorry a nice sentence and a hook they're gonna hook them in your ad copy and it's gonna make your customer buy and you know people be interested in your ads so when you take time to do this you're gonna have something that is you know good you don't need to be perfect it's gonna be good then a CTA button shop now that's it a nice picture again where you see the product clearly um, and like you know in the center nice you can see what it is sometimes you don't even know what it is I don't it's just people don't, again they're scrolling they don't know you they're not gonna stop because it's you like they don't they don't care about you okay you're not special uh, nobody is they're just gonna see you add like you know your random ad and they're gonna be oh another ad and that's it so you need to catch their attention okay so again yeah shop now it's great B good picture and that's it you test this with different ad sets you see how it goes if it works if you get a few sales then yes it might be worth testing everything I don't actually test CTA button I, it's not really it's hard to actually see if it makes a difference to be honest so I to add to a co creative and copy um, and that's that's great audiences of course but yeah so in the beginning if you get a few sales yes uh, test everything after you know if you get actually good sales and you're almost breaking breaking even or not far from breaking even yeah do it but in the beginning please don't because you're just gonna drown yourself and just gonna be lost in a lot of metrics and stuff it's not worth it okay so myth number nine myth number nine is you need at least 50 sales on a single ad set uh, in order to see if it's a winner again complete bullshit uh, I know Facebook is actually saying that um, it's just that Facebook is not talking to you dropshippers trying to sell to call audience Facebook is not lying when they say that they just talk in general how you know they explain how the algorithm work so it's true that if you have a lot of money like thousands of dollars to spend on on ad sets like Zara big brands they can spend thousands a day and they just spend and spend and they lose money for months and then again people everybody knows them so it's different and people are gonna trust them easier uh, easily and they're gonna buy you know quicker on their website and so it's gonna work for them and they're gonna have a lot they're gonna spend a lot of money for months and then yes they the ads gonna optimize even better and then they're gonna have even better um, uh, optimization and better results yes so Facebook is not lying here but it do, again understand why you do things and why they tell you this they say that for big brands for most people well, not actually most people but yeah for they don't they didn't do they didn't write this for drop shippers or people that are trying to sell to cold audience that's what we're doing here people don't know you so it's really really different so again you don't need 50 sales because if trying 50 if you need 50 sales to cut an ad set uh you're gonna wait months it's pretty for some most people because in the beginning i don't make when i launch a product when i test a product i don't make 50 cents a week when i you know when i launch i don't even know if they're gonna make i mean i know because i know how to test but i'm gonna make a few i'm gonna make a few sales but i don't know if it's going to be a winner and sometimes just get five six and i know okay it's not it's not really a winner i'm just gonna move on so and then after a scale and i go up to you know 50 and even 400 5, 500 orders a day but in the beginning you don't know so and i cut a lot of ad set after one purchase or zero purchases because again that's what you should do otherwise what you have to you're gonna, every time you're going to try a test and that's it you're going to spend a thousand dollars this is completely stupid uh and you can't afford it i mean most of you i'm sure you can't afford it so again a proof here uh, an ad set two dollars you can see 27 purchases seven dollar per purchase amazing and uh, and as soon as it started it started working okay it's not about um yeah it didn't start working after five days it started working right away all my winners were like this as soon as i launch it starts working if it stops working it stops working okay sometimes it doesn't perform well for a day or two but what i mean is because you're dealing with human beings but what i mean is it's not gonna like not work for like 
15 days and then work amazing okay it's not how it does uh, it's not how it works and maybe if you waited months but again you, you don't have months and you don't have the money to spend a uh, thousand of dollars so i wouldn't recommend it so yeah that's again that's my proof that's the strategy and um yeah that's it guys that's the nine myth um i hope you actually enjoyed this video uh this is going to help you a lot I can guarantee you because i've been there and i was following those those myths so I really recommend you to actually uh, follow what I'm saying. And you're going to see it's going to really make a big difference. It's going to change your life, uh, you know, in dropshipping, in e-commerce. Like, a, Because, yeah, it's it's those things are not true and they're slowing you down. They used to slow me down. So, yeah, here it is. So thank you guys for watching. I really, uh, really have fun doing all these videos for you. I really enjoy it. And uh, I hope you like it too. Please, you know, if you, have, if you need anything, any video, say tell me in the group please subscribe and by hitting the the red button below and uh yeah let's talk soon i'm going to maybe make a next video next week i don't know exactly about what yet but i'm going to let you know and uh you know exactly tell you in the group what i'm going to do next week so thank you guys have a great day and uh yeah thank you thank you again